sports rituals. Everyone has a ritual, a superstition, a pattern of behavior regularly performed in a set manner. That's something. I heard that you do something before you go out in the ice called the ritual. Yes, uh, my ritual. Your ritual. Now, what is your ritual? And your coach taught you this? Um, yeah, my coach taught me this. I did, I've been doing it since when I was younger. It's like, if I don't do it, I'm like, oh no, I'm going to do bad. Yeah. So I do it every time just Can to you... make sure I do well. We found that many skaters have some pre-game rituals. On the ice, representing Japan, Mari in Russia, but here at the World Championships. Um, I think I, I always tie my left skate before my right skate, but that's just before any practice, any competition. That's the only thing that I do. Before I go on the ice, I always have like a tiny piece of dark chocolate that I like to eat because I read somewhere that it helps like calm down your nerves, so I've done it for years. And I always put on my left skate and then I put on my right skate and then like I retie my right skate to make sure it's nice and tight. There's some breathing, kind of semi-meditating with each other, We've got a, key, a couple of key words we uh, tell each other and we always tell each other we love each other before we start our program. It's kind of the last thing we do to just get in our zone. We've learned over the years that it's better not to have superstitions or rituals because you never know what's going to happen. Your phone could die and you might not be able to listen to that one song that you have to hear. We observe superstitious rituals in other sports as well. Many athletes express their irrational belief in a magic ritual in public. I have actually too many superstitious rituals and it's annoying because it's like I have to do it and if I don't then I'll lose. A slightly bizarre world of funny behavior. It's time! Quirky, some are goofy, some don't make sense, some are necessary, but it's all a part of the process of you know, playing at a high level. Free game. Who's going to leave the ice last? This has been going on for more than four minutes. Superstition's a big part of hockey, and these two guys like to be on the ice last after warm up. Sagan being the visitor, being the gentleman that he is, he just gives it up for free to Shifley and, and enter the ice. And then they say, well, here, here, here's how we're going to decide this. And guess who wins? Savannah Jan wins. Well, when's the last time you guys used rock, paper, scissors to decide something important? Probably like last week. My wife and I do that a lot. Do you really? This yeah, is what these two guys do. Tyler Sagan and Mark Shifley. They have already had a game. Yeah, they certainly have uh, superstitions. I'm last off. No, you're last off. Okay, what do you do? Rock, paper, scissors. Shifley gets them in the end. Paper. See, now you're talking strategy for rock, paper, scissors. Like to be on the ice last after warm-ups. These two guys have, in the past, played rock, paper, scissors for the last guy on the ice. If they had a coin, they'd flip it. Oh, everything is good in the world, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's cheating. Sagan comes back and gets a you little... off the ice, you're off the ice. You can't be <laughs> more. Why do sports people seem so superstitious? Huh? Huh? While the opposing teams respond to this ritual in various ways, it always has an extremely powerful effect for the athletes that perform it. And with the pose, <laughs> the power of imagination. Come on, Joe! John Henderson's pregame slap. Nice. Michael Jordan's powder clap. Jordan would try to clap his hands with powder right in front of Kerr's desk in order to cover his suit with the white dust. On one such occasion, he had an umbrella ready for the attack, causing Jordan to laugh at his foiled attempt. Alright, we got him! We got him! We finally got him! I kiss uh, this ring that uh, my wife gave me four times. Four times. My lucky number. I go to my left pose, uh, my right pose, I hit my shoes in the yep. pose, then the left side, and then I jump against the crossbar with my hand. Many goalkeepers have superstitious rituals. The usual one, hitting the pose. The grounding effect of rituals often provides an athlete with an increased sense of comfort and control before big performance.
羽生選手に関する問題です。羽生選手が試合前に必ずしているこの動き、テレビでもよく見ますよね。これはおまじないの他にもう一つの意味が込められているんですが、それは何でしょうか。正解はそうです。一番の軸の確認、三宅さん、
Yeah, well, I better, better activate, activate the power. Uh, I'ma activate it, gotta make it, gotta chase it. I don't care what they be saying, I'ma do it now. <laughs> 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 The crowd love him. He is a four-time national champion, two-time world champion, two-time Olympic champion.